because this is the fourth generation, the fourth generation of building a tablet that can replace your laptop, and man, we are there. This product is thinner. It is the thinnest, most powerful core PC ever shipped, by far, nothing even close. The fit and finish on the product, it's exactly where you want it, exactly where you want it. There are subtleties in this product because we changed everything that you will never see. There are some that you will, but you will feel every part of this product when you pick it up, I promise you, you will feel it. Start with the screen. We went from 12 inches to 12.3 inches in the diagonal. Note, we didn't change the footprint at all of the device, at all. We did it by reducing the bezels. We put the LCD gates into the panel itself. No one's ever done that before. It's very important. We wanted to give you more real estate for Windows 10, for Office, for the power that you use it for. But the screen, oh my God, it'll knock you out. 267 PPI, 267. That's over five million pixels, just right there. Five million pixels on the screen. When you look at this product, when you touch it, you will feel its depth, you will feel it. And the job of the screen, the job of the screen is make the content look real. Let the product fade to back. Let people use it the way they want to use it. But I want to talk to you about a new technology in this product because it's so much more than just the pixels anymore. Pixels are awesome and we all talk about it and this screen will blow you away when you look at it. It's so much more than pixels. So stay with me for a minute. We're, in, we're in introducing something that puts touch, pen, softness on the eyes, perfect contrast, the pixels, the screen all together and we're calling it Pixel Sense technology. I'm gonna walk you through Pixel Sense so you get a feel for the technology in this product. First off, the cover glass. It's 400 microns thick. That's 0.4 millimeters. That is the thinnest cover glass with Gorilla Glass 4 on it ever shipped on a tablet. It's important. It's not the claim, it's important. Not just so we can say it, it's critical to understand why. We have a 1.1 millimeter backlight in the product. We have a photo align oxide display as you would expect. It's the best technology on the planet on a screen right now. But it is the thinnest optical stack up anyone can ship. We also have our own custom chipset that brings it all together. I'm introducing to you today a chipset in this product called the G5 chipset brought to you by Microsoft. Let me explain to you what it does. In short, it takes that optical stack and then it brings the best pen and touch experience you've ever witnessed or felt on any product and on this product right here. And I'll explain that. Let me introduce to you the latest Surface Pen. Real quick. I'm just gonna walk you through the features. It has a tail eraser. It has this beautiful stiction to it, so when you do erase from the back, isn't that funny? We finally put an eraser on it. It's kind of funny, there's a pencil out there without an eraser. It's weird, it's like backwards. Did you know right now, you don't know this, because only I know this, but I'm gonna share it with you. 50% of people using Surface Pro 3 you know they use a pen? You know when we started this, somebody actually walked into my office and said, hey, P, I don't know that we should ship a pen. I'm like, why? Because nobody writes anymore. You believe that? Like, where are we gone? Nobody writes anymore. Guys, it's the power of the pen. We gave you 1,024 points of pressure on the tip of this pen. 1,024. So when you press down, and you know how that ink naturally flows out of your pen? It'll flow out of this pen, too. You'll feel that, it's beautiful. We give you a full year of battery life. There's two reasons for that. One, you know something about pens. Every now and then if you use it a lot, you change the ink, that seems reasonable. That's the metaphor. We don't want a rechargeable solution for you because we don't want you to lose that, product, that, that productivity moment if you're in your flow. You don't want to stop, you don't want to worry. That's what this pen is for. It's a tool, it's the power of the pen. Now here's the one thing on the product that I need to tell you about that I still think about all the time, and when I see you guys put pen loops on your Surface Pro 3s, I go, ugh. Look, storing a pen is hard. I know that sounds silly, but I wanted to show you what we're doing with this pen. Check this out. So simple. I know, it's pen storage, but I will tell you, the tweets, the feedback, 
you guys wanted pen storage, we created it for you. It's kind of, it's right there, okay? Just wanted to share those, for those of you who were frustrated before. Now let me show you the integration of the pen because that's what this is all about, how you use the pen, not just talking about the features of the pen. I'm gonna stand right here, I'm gonna click the pen, and you're gonna see um, what happens when OneNote opens up. Do you guys see that? Just a one click, and here's OneNote. I can write, look how smooth the ink is coming out of my pen. Can you, can we see this on the screen? Can you guys see that? I wanna make sure you can, okay. Um, and then I can just erase. You can see that easy erasing off the back, and it feels like an eraser, so that really brings it to life. And then at any given time, you guys have used this, you can double click the pen. And if you double click the pen, what happens is uh, OneNote makes a decision, and this is that integration of Office and OneNote on this product. By the way, there isn't a product on the planet that runs Office and OneNote as good as this product. It's unreal. Now I can take whatever I want off this screen. Do you see how I clipped that and that came to life? Let it go and it drops into OneNote just like that, and now I can ink on it and I can send this information to my kids or whoever I wanted to. You've seen that, that's pretty cool. There's one more step. Here, if you look down at the bottom, is Cortana. This is Windows 10. If I hold down my pen now, in the most natural form, I'm in a, I have a tablet, how do I want to call her? How do I call Cortana? You just hold the pen, watch down here in the corner. There, tell me about the Microsoft Store in Manhattan. There it is. Came up, which is kind of nice. Then you can see it. There it is, the search results, where all I do is hold the button and I get back my search results. That seems pretty smart, but now I have Edge, and now I can write. This is the beauty of the product. So now, at any time, I can now write on the web the way I want to. Is that pretty cool? So this is Edge, carrying from here. Now what happened with all that content? What happens? It goes to my Lumia 950 and those things are connected, and it is an absolute beautiful thing. But why do you do all this? What's the point? It's not just for the Microsoft applications. It's for others, and we're seeing developers being inspired right now. Traditional apps like Lightroom, Photoshop, Illustrator, all touch and pen enabled. Awesome. New apps like Drawboard, Bitwig, from guys out there that want to create things. Some beautiful things. My favorite, made by a gentleman by the name of David William Hearn, is StaffPad. If you haven't seen it, you should. Now, while you watch this video, let me explain to you what's happening with the G5 chipset I enabled that we talked about. Watch how the ink seamlessly flows out of this pen. Watch how natural his hand movement is. Watch how the tip of the pen and the ink are right on the screen because of that thinnest stack ever. Look how smooth it is. Look how elegant his hand is working. But then, stop and look again. Watch how the product is starting to transform from ink to digital content. This is the power that's coming through this product. Watch how he's making things. He's changing things. He's creating with Surface. He's getting every bit he wants. But now look closer. What's really happening? David, out of his mind, down through his body, out of his arm, into his hand, and into your hearts, he just wrote a beautiful symphony just for you. That's what happened. It is so inspiring to see what developers can do, that you can feel the content they're creating that the productivity, the magic coming off these devices. Now we're making it even more personal because this tool has become something so personal. We're introducing five colors of the Surface Pen. I hope you like them, I think they're beautiful. But even more important, we're introducing interchangeable pen tips. Why? Yeah, it's super simple. It's for you, it's for you. Are you a writer? Are you a note taker? You sketch, you draw, you shade, pick a tip, feel them. They are magical. It changes everything. It's like a ballpoint pen to a felt tip pen to even a pencil. Take a look, it feels phenomenal. Let's talk about performance because you guys got to hear about this, okay? Performance. People talk about Surface Pro 3 because of its performance. Yep, it's versatile. Yep, it's a tablet that can replace this laptop, but it is performant. So let's just measure it up. Surface Pro 3, Surface Pro 4, 30% faster than Surface Pro 3, 30, 30%, it's just power. Now I'm not gonna compare it to any pad, I don't care what size, or any tablet. They, they're not in the same class, but I will compare it to what is in its class, and it is the MacBook Air. And I will tell you the MacBook Air is a great, 
great product. It is a great product. It's designed well. It works beautifully. But let's just compare it to give you a sense. Surface Pro 4, 50% faster than MacBook Air. 50. <laughs> MacBook Air is a great product. I have a Surface Now, you asked for a terabyte of storage, you got it. We're putting a terabyte of storage in the product, you go pick it. You wanted 16 gigabytes of RAM? Yep, we did. It's in there. Go pick it, go check it out. It's there. Terabyte, 16 gigs, 50% pass faster than our competitor, 30% faster than Surface. This is what you expected, right? It's what you get. Now, what do we compromise? Nothing. Zero. You know, I used to hesitate saying that. I'm not. It's unreal. We went from 9.1 millimeters to 8.4 millimeters. The only reason we stopped there was to make sure you had the full power of the USB 3.0 port. That's it. There's diminishing returns after that, guys. There is. But it feels so much better in your hand now. There's 60% more pixels on this screen. We grew the screen. We gave you 30% more power. We grew the storage, we grew the memory. It's a thinner and lighter package. That's all true. Nothing traded off. Nothing. Now, let me show you how. Sometimes you want to use this at your desk, right? So let me just walk you over here. I want to introduce you to a new product. This is the Surface Pro docking station. Notice how I say Surface Pro. For those of you who have been asking, what about Surface Pro 3? Okay, this docking station, it works with Surface Pro 3. <clears throat> It literally, it can for you do so many things, but it has two 4K displays out, so we're going to power those in just a minute so you can see the power of this docking station here. Of course, it has four USB 3.0 connectors. It has a gigabit of Ethernet speed. It has everything you want in a dock, but it's just this little package here, this elegant solution. So nothing on your desk except for this. Let your wires go down somewhere else. You don't need the clutter. Now let me show you as I'm docked the power of this product. I'm going to click here on a Pro E. Oh. <laughs> I might be getting punked here. Very funny. Very funny. Ah, uh, there it is. Okay. This is a nice job, by the way, guys. That was pretty good. Okay. Uh, this is Surface Pro 4, and what I am using now is Pro E, if you will, or if you will, one of the, one of the engineering tools. Remember when I said earlier that the Surface team uses Surface to build the next Surface? This is the actual Surface database uh, that we use. Let me explode the product out for you so you can get a better view of it and move it down here. So can you see that? This is every part of the surface. If I get the right angle, you can see how all these components come together. Keep in mind, this now is rendering 400 unique custom parts that are built in Surface Pro 4. That's unique, not even Surface Pro 3. This is an entirely new product. It's got 2,000 parts in it altogether. And so you can see how complex something like this can be. But as I move it around so smoothly and so quickly, and as I zoom in, I can look at any component I want. Now I want you to realize what's happening. I'm rendering millions of polygons right now, right in front of you. That's what's happening. I know it's super dorky, but it's super powerful. So just kind of understand the performance there. Let me zoom out to give you that, that look at the product again, and you can see that. You guys feel that power? It's pretty cool, right? So that is the power, and that's the Surface Docking Station. I hope you love it. I want to introduce you to a new product. And some of you have been asking for the new type cover. Let me just show it to you. This is the new Surface Pro type cover. This is the lightest, thinnest type cover we have ever shipped. The thing people say about type cover that they love is how light and thin it is and how sturdy it is. This product got lighter and thinner and more sturdy. But I want to talk about the key set. We've put in a pro key set on this product. What you'll see is what we went from this tight key set design where we have now filled out the entire key set for your hands. Don't worry though, this product works perfectly with your Surface Pro 3, perfectly. So if you have that one, and I see a bunch of you using Pro 3, which by the way, like you're super inspiring me right now. It's so fun. You can use this product, it's for you. But for Surface Pro 4 users who haven't used it yet or are coming on, I man, you're gonna love it. The key set is beautiful. The key switch has a 1.3 millimeter travel. It's, it, it really is. It's 19 millimeters right now between key sets. It's what we call the pitch. It feels so soft on your hands when you type. Best part, we then took the trackpad and made it 40% larger. That was a big deal. 40%. It feels beautiful. It uses the full power of Windows 10 and really comes to life. What do you guys think of the new type cover? It's very cool. This product, when it clicks in together and comes, it's just harmony. 
I mean, it, you know I love this. I, I hope you love it as much as I do. It's so beautiful. 